Hey everyone, it's Jill from What Jill Wears, and today I have a Stitch Fix to unbox. Kind of my one and only unboxing that I've been doing lately, so thank you for hanging in there with me. I promise I will someday start getting some different content for you, but right now we're just doing the good old Stitch Fix boxes. Although I am partnered with a, another great company today, and I will show you that now before we do this. And it is with Teddy Blake, New York. If you've never heard of Teddy Blake, they have kind of luxury handbags. Uh, they are leather. They come in this beautiful packaging. They have so many different styles. And they reached out to me. I wanted to do this during my Stitch Fix because I have some dresses in there. The bag is going to look so great with them. So I thought I would unbox with you all. I have not opened this up yet. I did get to choose my bag, but I haven't seen it in person yet. And then um, I will put in my description box below uh, the description, the website. They're having a 75% off Halloween sale right now. So today is October. 21st. I'm not sure how long that runs. I would think through October 31st, but I'm not quite sure. I also have a $30 off code, but these, these bags are just super high quality, really pretty, just really soft, nice kind of pebbled leather. I love them. So here it is. It's in this big, beautiful box and then it opens up and inside is a bag that your handbag comes in and it says Teddy Blake New York designer handbags made in Italy luxury leather each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice yeah they definitely have like all styles all sizes the little ones and bigger ones they have wallets and wristlets i think and um yeah so here is the little sack that it comes in so cute that you can keep it in there makes you feel very fancy and then here is the handbag oh my gosh it's so pretty so i chose gray i have been looking all over for like a really pretty leather gray handbag i love that it has the option to have the handle and then it also let's see maybe it's inside so it has okay silver i wanted silver and then it has like you unhook it like that and then it's magnetic here and then oh yes it does have the cross body, body strap and it has a zipper pocket on the inside here is what the inside looks like and then the back also has a zipper with a pocket super nice love it love it love it let's open this crossbody strap see what that looks like okay it comes with a little tag here and it has a little locket there so cute so you could probably just like hang that on the side of the bag if you want and then it has these really great enclosures. I'm thinking it hooks right up to these little things at the top. So there's your crossbody. It is adjustable, so it has these little holes that you can adjust up and down so you can get it to the size of your liking okay so when I put on some of the dresses that I have in this box I will have this as a little accessory anyways I wanted to show you this because it's so pretty it has a little logo at the bottom okay let's move on stitch fix so I kept one thing for my preview. I asked for dresses. I do have a wedding to attend, but also to photograph. 
my husband's going to it. I um, get to go up north for it. So I'm super excited about that. So we're in Michigan. We always say we go up north um, to Traverse City, which is going to be so fun. This beautiful, beautiful area. I'm hoping that there's still color on the trees, but I wanted a new fallish dress to wear to it because it's probably going to be pretty cold. And when I got my preview, it was all short sleeve dresses, summer dresses. And I was like, hey, I'm, I'm going to be cold. I need long sleeve. And so she did put some of those in here and a sweater. And it's Carly. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've been through this whole fiasco with my stylist. I had, I can't even remember her name anymore. Um, I had a girl for a long time that I really liked. Gosh, that's so sad. Lauren. <laughs> and now I have Carly. The last couple boxes I've had Carly. I think she's been doing a great job. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with her for a while. If she's doing a good job, why not? So here we go. Hi, Jill. Happy fix day. Can you believe that we are already in the month of October? I feel like 2022 has been flying by. Yeah, we're almost done with October. I am so glad to see that you added some cool pieces to your closet last time around and that you found this BB Dakota dress that you would like to try out. Unfortunately, I was unable to snag you a lot of natural fabric dresses this time around, but I know you need one for the wedding. So I made sure to send a few options your way that you that are acrylic acrylic free. I also took a look at your Pinterest board and noticed you have a lot of neutral pullovers on there. So I thought you would love this one by Lay Serene, which will pair effortless, effortless, effortlessly, I can't talk, with some blue jeans, booties, and a scarf. Would you like to see one in your next fix? I hope that you find the perfect dress from today's assortment. And until next time, Jill, XO Carly. Okay. Here is the bundle. Okay, the first one is by Michael Stars. And in theory, I think this is a fabulous dress, but in practicality, I think it is going to be a no because it is a one shoulder dress. But it is super duper cute, and I will definitely try it on. So it's sort of like a ruchy ribbed knit dress. And I love that it has the long sleeve on the sleeve side. But um, yeah, I just, I don't think it's going to work out because I really need two sleeves on my dress. But it's really a beautiful dress and it feels really nice. I mean, it's Michael Stars. It does have like a little slit on the side. So that's nice. So we'll try it on. I don't know. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. We shall see. Next by Le Sorine. This is the sweater that she sent. Oh my gosh. I love this. So pretty. I love the sleeves. I love the gray. I'm not a pink person, but a little pink on the end. I like it. I've been really loving just like grays and beiges and tans and just like really nice neutrals. This is 40% viscose, 35% nylon, 25% polyester. Feels very nice and soft. Love the v-neck. It's just a lightweight, nice sweater. I like that it seems a little oversized. Been really digging kind of the slouchy fit stuff lately. Next is another dress. I loved this dress. It is polyester, but I think it's super duper cute. I love the pattern on it. So the sleeves are sheer, so that's kind of a bummer because it won't really keep me warm, but I could wear just a little jacket or like a blazer with it. Um, this is by Le Serene as well. And... I think it's so pretty. So I love the pattern. It has like the Swiss dot on it. Love those colors. It has this little tie right here. And the neckline is sort of like a, I don't know, sweetheart-ish where it like comes down and goes down. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then it does have kind of the sewn in 
chest area as well. Do you see that? So I'm really hoping that this is super flattering. I love the look of it. I think it's gonna be cute. I have just a really hard time with dresses because of my body shape. I have larger chest, I have a short torso, I'm a little hippie, so I don't have a waist. I just, I'm just straight down. So it's just really hard to find very flattering dresses. So I'm really hoping that I like this one because it's so cute. Okay, next is the one that I kept, and this is sort of a brush knit, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but I really liked the pattern of it. This is by Steve Madden. It's a Steve Madden, or it's a Stitch Fix exclusive, and it's this really cute buffle plaid. It's like a burgundy, has a tie waist, so it doesn't tie all the way around, like it's not like a belt that you slip in. It's actually like sewn into the sides. So you could probably either uh, pull the ties back and have it just be like normal or you can have it tied in the front. It's like a little belt look. So we will try that on too. So cute. There are no pockets, no pockets, no pockets in any of it. So, okay. That's really cute. Let's actually check out the fabric content in this one as well. So this is 84% polyester and 14% rayon. I'm really trying to stay away from polyester. Don't I really hate this brush knit, but I don't know. It's not that bad. Here, I'll show you. It's not like some of those brush knits that are just like super soft and you can tell they're just gonna pill so bad. I mean, it's Steve Madden, so I think like Steve Madden's probably not gonna have horrible quality. All right, lastly, we have another dress. This is also by Steve Madden. I think she's really finding my brands, so I appreciate that. So it's this little flannel dress. This also has a tie in the front. What's so cute about this is it looks like the sleeve of the dress. I don't know if everyone will love that, but I kind of thought it was cute and interesting, like very different. So it looks like you have another, another flannel of the same pattern tied around your waist as like the, the belt of the dress. So very, very interesting. And I'm hoping it's flattering because the back, look at it, it has like the sewn across part and then it has like a little panel here. So I'm thinking that that's gonna really bring your waist in and be flattering. And then it also has some little pockets in the front. No, oh, bummer, they are fake. So it's like a, it's like a pleating. So I guess it's maybe like a continuation of it being sort of like a, a flannel really tied around your waist. So I think that's what these little flaps are. I thought they were gonna be pockets, but not so much. Okay, well, that is it for this box. I'm super excited to try these on. All right, let's try it on. All right, I didn't end up putting any special bra on for this. I just took my bra strap down. Not that bad. I could lift them up a little bit and put on like a strapless bra, but I just decided to do this, not take up so much time. It's beautiful. I love this dress. I think it fits so good. I just think it's too fancy and just out of my element. But if I were searching for something like this, it would be so good. It has all this ruching. I mean, black's flattering anyways, but it has all this ruching in the middle and on the sides that just make it really, really flattering. I put some black booties on with it. I've got my Teddy Blake bag. So cute, looks so good with this. Has the little slit on the side. I think it's just the one side. Yep, just the one side. And it's just really nice. If I needed it for something fancy, it would be a keeper. 
Okay, this is, this is the Michael Starr's Lena dress in black, $108. I also brought out a little jacket so we could see what that looks like with it. My neighbor is mowing the lawn. Yes, it is sunny, but a little chilly in Michigan today. So if you can hear that, I apologize. Ah, it's so cute. I was getting 90s combat boot vibes from this dress. So I put on my combat boots, got my Teddy Blake bag over my shoulder as a crossbody. I did loosen up the strap just a little bit because I like my crossbodies to hang down just a little. And I think it's so cute. I love this dress. I think it's so cute and flattering. I like how it has a little bit of like flare at the bottom, kind of a flariness, yeah. And I love the subtleness of this tie in the front. It helps bring the waist in. I think it's a really good cut for me. I'm just a flannel girl anyways. Obviously you saw it in the beginning of the video, I had a flannel on then, but yeah, it's so cute. I would wear this with like leggings and combat boots or tights and combat boots in the fall and winter and I love it. All right, this is the Steve Madden Apparel Peyton dress. Oh, and it is <laughs> in blue, $79. Okay, so it's a little pricey, but I guess if you think it's like a complete outfit, if you look at it that way, What do you guys think? Here is this other, I think Steve Madden dress and it's very soft. I think it's very flattering. It's a nice length. I have on some little boots that I got from Target recently. I think they're sold out now though. I got really lucky and they had my size in the store. They were the last ones left. but I love the little chunky heel on them. All right, so this was the dress that you could tie in the front. I think it's very flattering because it kind of covers the little mom pooch. Or you could make it a little more streamlined and tie it in the back. And it makes it more like a little shift dress. And then I did bring out a jacket. So again, you could wear some tights under this, some leggings. Really cute. Oh my gosh, it's really cute. I love it. I love how this looks. And this is the BB Dakota and Steve Madden. It's a collaboration, I guess. Fatma tie detail dress red, $68. So cute. And here is the last look. Well, dress wise, I still have that sweater to try on. But here it is. This is the Lacerine dress and I put it on with just some little low booties. You can wear it lots of different ways, but it's really pretty. I think it fits perfectly. The only thing I think that bothers me about it is the sleeves staying up. I mean, they're pretty well secure. I just don't know if it would bother me. Like I would be pulling at it, but they don't go anywhere. So 
I don't know. I guess it's fine. Wear a nice necklace with it. The little boob area <laughs> fits perfectly. Very flattering, does not make my chest look chestier. So it brings it in a little bit here to my no waist. And this is just for show. It doesn't do anything. Like I wish it would maybe even tie in a little bit here, but it doesn't. It's just fake, fake tie. And then there's the back, has elastic right here. No elastic in the front, I guess. This is just sewn in, but the back has a little elastic to kind of bring it in. Nice length, super cute dress. Ah, oh, I'm torn. I don't know what's my favorite. is the Le Serene Meghana tie front dress. Black, $58. Not a bad price. Lastly is the sweater. Put some little booties on, some jeans. Put on my Teddy Blake bag. Try and be a little more casual with it. So cute. Nice lightweight fabric. Love the v-neck. Put a little scarf on with it. Little roomy, little puff or balloon type sleeves. I love that pattern there. That's so cute. It is recap time. I forgot to tell you the price of the sweater. It is the Le Serene Sebastian. It's not Sebastian. I think it's Sebast Sebastian. I don't know. <laughs> These are always so weird. V-neck sweater, gray, $48. It's really nice. Okay like I don't know what to do what was your absolute favorite dress I don't know if any of them were like absolutely perfect for the wedding the closest I feel like I mean the last one was very a lot more fancy, I guess, than the rest of them, other than the one sleeve one, which I think that one's going back. Even though it was really pretty on, I just, I don't think I can pay $108 for it and only wear it like very seldomly. Although it would look really cute with combat boots too. Okay, so yeah, the last one was fancy. I did really like that buffalo plaid one with the little jacket and the tan boots. That was really, really cute. I think I could wear that to a wedding. Could I shoot a wedding in it? I don't know, it was a little short. Ugh, I don't know. But I think I would wear that one more often, like casually, just out with leggings or something underneath, combat boots too. All right, so Michael Stars was a 108, the sweater 48, the Steve Madden dress, the blue one, 79, the 
plaid one, 68. The fancy Swiss dot one, 58. Totals 361. If you buy all five, you get 25% off. That'd be 90, 25 off. So it would leave my total at 270, 75, which basically would be the Michael Starr's dress free. But I just don't think I'm going to do it. Tell me your thoughts. What was your favorite dress? Help me. Did you like the Teddy Blake bag? So cute. Went with everything, casual and not casual. Tell me your thoughts. Check out Teddy Blake. Check out Stitch Fix. Let me know what you think. Again. <laughs> Thanks you guys so much for watching. As always, I know that I don't put out a lot of content out, but I feel like I definitely have a few people out there that they're always ready for my videos. So thank you so much to those people. I always appreciate your comments, your kind words, your thoughts, just updating me on your lives. I love to update you. I know I'm gonna do that American Eagle haul soon. And mm, I don't know. I'm thinking of some other things. So maybe some new things soon. We shall see. We shall see. Tell me if you have any other boxes that you want to see. I might do another Wantable again soon. I know they have a lot of fun new edits coming out. So maybe one of those two. Maybe a Trendsend thrown in there this winter. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.